Hey there all and welcome back to Get Going Fast where we're getting into this excellent hobby AI in a quick and efficient manner in which you might actually learn something. Oh my goodness. So uh, you guys have been hearing a lot probably about these ability to create, generate videos that last more than four seconds. Of course, one of the things is that um, generally when we're creating this stuff, we're stuck with, you know, three, four second videos, which is, I guess, fine. In some ways, um, but you have to be creative how to use it. Well, of course, um, we've been hearing about this extended windows of uh, making videos. Here's a 20 second video uh, that goes on, making this really easy. But now, as you most normally know, a lot of this stuff, you have to uh, be downloading a lot of models and comfy UI. Uh, you have to really be, it gets complicated, right? Like I know a lot of us get caught up with the whole uh, feel like you need to get a PhD in Comfy UI to be able to generate anything. And this is where this is beautiful. We're going to go over the absolute easiest way to do this. It beats uh, the socks off of doing it in Comfy UI. It is so fast. It is so easy to do. And it's just a matter of a couple clicks. And so I'm going to show you a real quick video on how to do that. But before we do that, I want to thank you for liking the channel and subscribing here so you guys are the better parts of this you're the community that we're building and so i appreciate that and likewise uh you know if you're like at your wedding and there's like is there anyone here that wants to object before they say this and then just stand up and say i have something and everyone like, oh, be like get going fast and uh, ai and all that stuff and then and then bless the the bride and the groom and all that stuff but it's a great opportunity to really let people know what you think about ai and get going fast so thanks for doing that man that's really committed of you i do appreciate that and with that said let's move on to uh learning how to expand the what they're going to call the frame window make long videos that you might actually be able to do something with can you even imagine that all right let's get to it yo all right so what we're going to do is we're going to be using as you might have guessed our new favorite app these days, which is One Two GP. Okay, so you can get there by go. You can get it by going to One Two GP. Get Going Fast. Pro. And uh, if you're a member over here, you can just grab that for free. Um, and it's an easy install. This is made by the guy with the best name on the internet, named Deep Beat Meep. And it is just a blow you away software. You can do so much with it. Once you get this installed, uh, it is just amazing you can see here you've got all these different models that you can try so if you've been like look at if you just recently added uh multi-talk we need to do a video about that um all this so you can actually have two people talking in a video it's incredible i guess i should be careful two people uh in a thing and uh look at hun you on you got ltx you got all these wands you got skyros it's just amazing what goes on here and what he has done is he has added the ability in this to easily make long videos so we're going to go up here and we're going to uh, grab this vase fusion x which is my mind is the best model there is out there um it's very it's got a lot of bright colors it's very saturated with color it's very it has a certain look that i suppose after a while you could be like okay I mean, you're kind of tired of that look um, but it is the best out there i've ran stuff in hanyuan Hanyuan has a more real uh, look, I guess, in the sense of like natural realism. Um, but you don't get the same quality of videos as you do with uh, Fusion X. Fusion X is um, very real, but like I said, really kind of brighter colors that you might not see in natural video, but incredible. And it runs so massively fast. It is so fast. So at any rate. What we're going to do is we pick our model here, and this pretty much works with any of these models, which is really incredible how, how he's done this. But we're going to grab this Fusion X, and we'll just stick with the, the uh, prompt that he's already gotten here, this large orange octopus scene resting, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now all we got to do is scroll down here. You can see you can set your max resolution, set our number of frames. We're going to come back to this uh, in a second. Okay, I'm going to show you this. Because notice it says 1881, so 16 
frames equals one second. So what is that? 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. So this is making about a six second video. Is that right? Something like that. I think it actually comes out to about five. But we're going to go down here. And if we click here, you're going to see it says sliding window. Okay. And you're going to notice that this is where the magic is done. Now, the incredible part about this is you don't actually have to do anything to enable us. This is already enabled for you. So notice it says the sliding window allows you to generate videos with a duration not limited by the model. So most of these models are built on four to five seconds. Where's the thing? This allows you to expand it out to 20 seconds to more, okay? It's automatically turned on if the number of frames you generate is higher than the window size. So the window size is, think about it like um, a box that can only fit so much stuff inside of it, okay? And what it's saying, so like, up here, we could fit 81 frames inside the normal window, okay? But let's say we want to put 120. That's going to expand beyond um, our window size. So that means this would automatically kick in, okay? And what it's going to do is it's going to batch these things and create one, and then it's going to create the next. So think of it like this. Let's say that our model, our, a, our generated model, it can create something that's this big okay and it can do it all day long it's designed to do things but we say we want it to make something this big let's say it's three times as big so what window frame does is it says okay you know what let's batch these things in other words let's take this whole thing and let's cut it into pieces that we can do so let's say uh, i'm going to make up a number okay i'm just going to make up a number that this is not an accurate thing is just for the sake of this example. Let's say our window frame was 25, okay? We could fit 25 frames into one window. And let's say we want we have, we want to do a, um, 100 frames. So the model will look at that and will say, okay, we've got 100 frames it wants to do. Let's batch it. Let's cut it, okay? <laughs> My hands get backwards here. Jing, jing, jing. Okay, and let's cut it into pieces of 25. And so essentially what it would do is it would create for window frames okay now this is a very simplistic answer and there's overlaps and stuff like this but just so you get the idea when we go over what this technology does is it says okay let's just create these in batches and then we'll stitch them back together again so that we can have a longer video okay and this is actually showing what your sliding window size is so actually it's set to 129 Okay, now notice it says Windows frame overlap, needed to maintain continuity between windows. So in other words, let's say it creates 129 frames and it's gonna go to the next batch, okay? What it's gonna do is it's gonna copy the last of those five frames and it's gonna start with it on the other one and that way it continues through smoothly. So if you remember back last year and earlier in this year, the video generation we had had a lot of change. You'd try to do a long video and the background's always changing, stuff is popping because it would get to the end of that last frame and then it would create something new. And then the something new would be completely different. So what this is doing is it's saying, let's take the end of the generated video and that will be our starting point. And that way we can stay consistent. So there's an overlap. That's what that setting is doing there, okay? And the noise to be added to be overlapped so it, it's this has to do with your diffusion process and and you're creating we're uh, you know i've actually been talking with colin herbs uh the um one of the developers of frame pack studio and uh, he's actually thinking about sitting down and talking with us and explaining how diffusion works so just know that this is it's kind of like chipping away marble this is kind of what this goes to and uh so at any rate we can go in here and we get normally we default at our 81 seconds but let's say we say um, we want a longer video. So we want a 20 second video. Well, it says 16 frames equals one second. So let's say a 10 second video would be 160 frames, which means that a 20 second video would be 320 frames, okay? Right, so let's say we pop this up here and we'll go 321, okay? Just so it gets over the top. Now, notice that's over our window size, okay? So if I click generate, what it's going to do, and I'm not going to click it right now because I don't want it to uh, uh, kill down the machine, but what it's going to do is it's going to say, okay, you want 321 frames, but I can only handle so many frames. So I'm going to break it into batches. I'm going to work on the first part. Then I'm going to work on the second part. Then I'm going to work on the third part. 
and then I'm going to stitch it all together, which is what it ends up doing up here. So you'll actually see it. It'll, you'll hear it ding, and it's like it's done. Oh, and you'll see you've got a five-second video. Okay, and then it'll ding again, and you've got another five-second video. Well, now you've got a ten-second video, and it'll ding again. You got a fifteen, and then a twenty. So it actually works at it in in bits, and then it stitches it together, and then you end up with a longer video like this. Okay, so this was three hundred twenty-one frames. This is a twenty-second video, and you see it just keeps creating. It keeps it creates. Five seconds, so probably when it gets to 15 here, see it goes on. But remember, it overlaps, so it went back a little bit and then started again. And then you end up with these long videos. Okay. Now, if we were doing this in Comfy UI, we'd be downloading this model. We'd have to get the certain workflow. We'd have to. You, you guys know. I mean, Comfy UI is great, but it's it's really a pain in the butt, I guess. Like, you know, it's got its place, but with one two gp you can do all this without having to even touch it and okay now let's notice this works really good with your uh vase models okay so uh in your vase stuff you're going to be able to use this. but let's say we do go over to something like this honey one okay we go over to honey one let's go to fast video now if you notice we're going to go down here and then we're going to click on sliding window but notice it's not popping up oh because it doesn't work with this which is why the models that you're seeing come out on um comfy UI, they're all for vase okay but here's the thing this model this application is amazing so check what they do have though if we click on miscellaneous it pops this up this rifle x okay or reflex i, I guess reflex rifle x you know I, I come from a red state so i'm thinking about rifle x it's probably reflex right but uh, it says you can generate videos longer than five seconds same thing auto on so even here if i pop this all the way up to here it's going to kick in and it's just going to automatically make our longer video okay i don't have to download this stuff if i was to come view why these would all be different workflow every one of these things would be a different workflow that you have to have each one of these would be different models vae models uh, clip models uh um what are the other, you know, encoder models, all these, but it all is here. And when you use them, it downloads what you need automatically. And he's already got all of this stuff installed for you. So if I'm going to use my vase stuff, hey, yo, I've got this sliding window here. I'm going to make it as long as I want. Okay. If I'm going to be using something else that doesn't uh, accept the sliding window, it's still going to allow me to, uh, well, LTX is new, but Honey, you want stuff, it's still going to allow me to use the reflex stuff. Okay. So, uh, very cool thing. The absolute easiest way to do this stuff. And I'm telling you, this runs as fast as Comfy UI. It's incredibly fast. It's very well done. This is the best app there is on the internet. And there you have it. You want to make 20 second videos? Download one 2 gp Okay. How do you get one 2 gp Well, just head on over to one 2 gp dot get going fast dot pro and you can grab it here join as a member and you can get all of these installers for uh for free you just pay for the membership you get everything okay um, or you can get it as a one download if you don't if you don't want to join as a member you can just buy it but you've got it and this gets updated all the time you can from from download to install you're generating and depending on your internet speed five to ten minutes okay it installs it's up there you choose the model the longest thing that's going to be is just downloading the model that you want but uh anyways there you have it i hope you guys enjoy it very cool very easy way this is the get going fast way as far as i'm concerned this is the holy grail because i want to get going fast i want to get in there i want to play with this stuff i want to make stuff okay and this really allows us to do that so uh, feel free to come over and find us on the Discord and share the stuff you're working on. If you're doing bigger projects, come over to Reddit and share it on the uh, Get Going Fast page over there. We'll treat you real good. Um, you can find us on Instagram as Cognibuild. You can find us on X as Cognibuild. Of course, we're here on the YouTube channel as well. And we'd love to connect with you, man. I'd love to see the safe for work stuff that you've been working on because I think you're pretty excellent. you got a, you got a good creative mind. I'd like to see what's happening going on with that so 
Uh, in the meanwhile, if you uh, do find this stuff helpful, feel free to uh, send me a thanks uh, in however manner. And that keeps me happy, keeps me going, keeps me feeling appreciated. Hey, oh. Anyway, with that note, we're going to say goodbye. You guys enjoy, and we will catch you on the other side. Yo.